Are you just getting started trying to use Trello to organize your small business? Look, Trello can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. But it's like I always say, it's time to let it be easy. So let me help you get started in creating your very first board. And make sure that you stick around to the end because I have a special gift for you to help you get started off on the right foot. Okay, so as you can see, this is not my first rodeo. I've created quite a few <laughs> boards here, but let's just go ahead and get started with your very first board. So typically when you come into Trello for the first time, you've already created your account, you're going to not see any of these like workspaces or anything here. It's gonna be pretty empty. What you will likely see though, is a workspace that is called, um, in my case, Kelly Gable's workspace, but it'll be called whatever you put in as your username, workspace. So within that workspace, you're gonna click on boards and it's gonna be empty like this. Now, keep in mind, I have this in dark mode. So if yours is not a uh, charcoal gray or black screen behind, that's the only reason why, otherwise it's exactly the same. So you're gonna just go ahead and click this blue button right here and you're gonna see, it's gonna default to a background. In fact, I'm gonna choose that one just cause I like the color of it from here. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a name. The title of your board is required, um, but it can be changed at any time. So we're gonna go ahead and just call it my first Trello board. We're gonna leave it in the workspace that it's in. And then as far as visibility, um, you can make it completely private so that it's only visible to you. Workspace visible in case you have other people sharing the account with you and they're in this workspace that they will be able to see it or 100% public, meaning that anyone on the internet could see it or in theory, search and find it. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Not that most people are likely to stumble upon your board, but as especially as you're getting used to working in this, I would go ahead and keep it at the workspace or the private level. And you do have options to start with the template, which um, is a great option if you know already exactly what you want to do with this board. Um, then you can go and search in the templates and find something so that you're not starting from completely scratch. But let's just assume we haven't really decided yet. So we're gonna go ahead and just start from scratch and hit create. And it's gonna go ahead and open up the board for us. Oh, that's a cool background that we picked there. Um, and then when you land here, what you're seeing is the very basics of a Trello board. So Trello boards are based on lists. So you can add a list. And when you add that list, so let's just say my first list, when you add that list, it's gonna give you options to create more lists to the right, or you can add your first card. So then we're gonna go ahead and click right here and just click add a card. It's gonna ask for a title for the card. And then once you hit enter, it creates that card. If you wanna go in and add more to it, you're gonna go ahead and click right there on the card. And now you're actually in the card itself. So once you're in here, you can see you have a lot more options. You can go ahead and type in a description. This is um, a, a pretty large, it's not unlimited, but it's a pretty large text field. You can also copy paste things into here like URLs or even images. Uh, but this is where you would kind of put your uh, purpose for the card. You can also add comments. And if you do have anyone sharing this board or this workspace or this account with you, you can actually tag them and um, you guys can comment back and forth, you can add members to the card, labels. You could go ahead and add a checklist if you needed to um, keep track of something specific. And this would just be adding an item as you go. You can add a due date or even a start date if you wanted to have a range of time. You can add attachments. So from here, you can add files up to a certain um, size. I, I don't remember exactly what the size is, but in the free account, it's, it's, it's large enough if you want to add a photo or something like that. But if you're trying to add a video, you're probably going to come up against the limit on the size there. Or you can go ahead and paste links to other things here, um, websites or things like that that you want to connect with. Um, or also you can connect it to other boards and other cards once you have created those in your account. 
Uh, you can add a cover to your card. You can do um, an image just like we did with the board itself. And so let's go ahead. Actually, let's go ahead and pick this one. And you can see it added that image right here. And it added it with the name of the card just below. You can leave it that way. Or if you want a little bit sleeker kind of look, you can go ahead and click on this option, which will actually overlay that uh, card title onto that cover. And you can choose for that to be done with white behind black text or black behind white text. And that's really an aesthetic choice. Or if you didn't want to do a photo, you could do the same thing with one of these colors instead. But I'm going to go ahead and keep the photo because I think it's pretty. Um, if you are using custom fields, which is a premium feature, then you could create and add custom fields here. If you want to use a power up or a button, um, those are board based but you would have easy access to anything that you've added to this board right here within the card. And then as you can see right here, actions to move the card around that can be within the same board or it can actually be from board to board. You could make a copy of the card. You can turn it into a template. Once you've set it up, if it's something that you're gonna repeat over and over again, you can make a template so that you don't have to start from scratch with this card over and over again. You can archive or you can share this card out. And as you go, you're just going to keep adding lists based on what it is that you're trying to do with this board. So it's really straightforward. And really, you can use Trello to do just about anything in your business. Um, I mean, I have used it for everything from um, keeping track of my schedule to um, keeping track of my clients to managing my business budget to um, mapping out my email automations. I mean, literally the list goes on and on and on. You can use it in so many ways. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I do actually have a free template that um, I'm going to link in the description for you. If you want to get started with using Trello to just manage the day-to-day -day of your business, um, there's a video here that shows you exactly how to use it all. So um, I'm going to go ahead and drop a link in the description that you can go there and give me your email address and I will send this board to you right away so that you can get started with it. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated or overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.